Serving all of San Diego, this is your Fox 5 News. Well, stores are having a tough time getting customers in this struggling economy, but there is a way for a small business to survive. Raul has important information for you right now. Raul? All right, Arthel, good morning. You know, people trying to start a business right now, a small business, are facing some of the toughest times in recent history. Author and consultant Holly Berkeley joins us now on ways to how to use the Internet to help your small business succeed. Holly, welcome, first of all. Thank you. We've got your books right here. And first off, Let's talk about exactly what we need to do. The, the advice here, obviously, take it online. That's where you can succeed. Mm -hmm. What can you tell folks? Online provides some of the most cost-effective resources for small businesses, giving you a way to really open your audience up, really get to a lot of different people very quickly, get immediate results, and extremely more cost-effective than any form of advertising out there. It is more cost-effective. So the question now is what sells, what doesn't, um, as far as uh, whatever your product may be, is it always good advice to take it on the Internet, or depends on what you're selling? I do agree that everybody should be using the internet to promote themselves and market their services, but not all all products sell online. And so the thing you really need to think about is cost versus convenience. So meaning, is it easier to buy the product online than to go to a local grocery store? Sure. And is it more cost effective? Is it cheaper? There's a reason Amazon.com is so famous. It's yeah. because it's cheaper and easy to buy those things online. And they have a wide range of things available. What are some of the online resources that folks can go to? For example, hey, I'm thinking of starting a new business, mm -hmm. but I don't know where to go other than Google, Yahoo, the basic things, uh -huh. other websites that you can suggest for them? There are so many great websites for your email marketing. You can use things like constantcontact.com, iContact. Those are great resources, less than $15, $30 a month to do so there your is email a fee marketing. For that. There, there is a small fee, but those are, even the larger businesses use those. You know, Oprah, Obama campaign have used mm -hmm. these kind of uh, email marketing services. And PayPal is also on here, and that's free. So you can uh, have something online, and people can pay through PayPal. makes it really easy. There's PayPal, there's a Google Checkout, those are all free resources for small businesses with a, a very minimal transaction fee when, when you sell something, but it makes it very cost effective to get an e-commerce site going. And what about website design? Because I know a lot of people, that, that's kind of important. You want to have the ease of mm -hmm. navigating through a website without getting confused and you click here and it doesn't work. So how do you get around to finding somebody who can get you a good website? There's so many different costs of a website. There's so many different ways that, that you can do a website. One of the things you can do is, is post your project on a website called Elance, and you will get hundreds of bids on it from all over the world of people with different ranges uh, bidding on your project. You can also use uh, resources like Yahoo Shopping to build a website, about $40 a month, a uh, very professional site. You are connected with Yahoo, so you look a little bit more credible. And so there's a lot of... Uh, resources that way to, to get your web templates. Talk about that credibility. A lot of people, like we said, they go to Yahoo, they go to Google and they type it in the search engine. So are there any tricks to getting your business to kind of pop up in the top two or three search results that you get out of that? The, there are a lot of tricks. Uh, one of the, you can of course buy your way to the top right. is through Google AdWords, which a lot of people talk about. Uh, but for small businesses, if you really can't afford to be doing that, you would want to look for what they call long tail search terms, which would mean finding search terms that aren't what everybody else is buying, but still have a high search volume, sure. but low competition. All right, Holly, we want to make sure people know what the books are, low budget online marketing for small business and also marketing in the new media. Those are the books. Holly, Berkeley, thank you so much for joining us. If you know how to get online and get it done, this is the way to do it, Arthel. Indeed, Raul. Thank you, Raul and Holly.